So what's going on guys we have this question right here determine the force in members gf gd and cd of the truss state if the members are in the tension of comp or in the compression so if we have questions like this what we have to do is we have to find the common uh, common thing and we have to cut it off so if you see gf uh, gd and cd so if you see this is common i can cut this part out and take this take one of this part so if you see we have here uh, horizontal vertical force and horizontal horizontal force act acting on it for this one only uh, only vertical force is acting therefore i can uh, it's it will be easy for me to take this part and solve it so let's draw this part so this is going to be this this and this is d e e and f and F and uh, we know 15 degrees acting downward, uh, 15 kilonewtons acting downward, and we know the CD is. Let's say let's put this direction, CD. Uh, it's okay if you put the wrong direction because uh, if you take the wrong direction and solve for it, and if you get the minus answer, it means you got the wrong direction direction and you can change it. So it's okay to assume as you want. Then when you solve, you will find it out. So let's say this direction and this is going this side is going to be a GD and then uh, we have this one GF coming this side. So let's assume these directions. But when you solve, uh, when I solve, if I get a negative answer for anything, it means I hope I assumed it wrong. So I have to I can change it so let's see so since we have this one here let's say this force is ey acting on it so since we don't know ey uh, i better solve the moment find the moment of around a and solve for ey so let's do that so if it's a solve moment around a total moment is zero in statics so let's let's take clockwise positive if i take clockwise positive this is 10 times 2 10 times 2 this is clockwise so it's positive and 4 times 25 and this is going to be 6 times 15 and this is acting counterclockwise is pulling the object up so therefore counterclockwise therefore it's going to be negative uh, 8 times 8 times uh, this is ey ey and if I solve for EY, I will get uh, 26.25 kN. So this is my answer for EY. Then what I have to do is I can use this EY here. This is 26.25 kN. And I can now take the moment around D. Now I can solve only around this triangle. So let's take moment around D and in statics the total moment is zero let's take uh, counterclockwise positive if i take counterclockwise positive ey is going to be positive and ey is in in two meter distance from this this is two meter so i can multiply this one by two and then what are the forces we have we have uh, this one we we shouldn't take this one because we are taking moment around the we have only this one and this one so this is putting this one in clockwise therefore this is negative i am taking counterclockwise positive so this is negative and i have to know uh, this this angle because this is going to be this uh, so if this pulling down i have to know this angle so it's going to be gf so to find the theta so let's say so this is the theta right so to find the theta i can find it from here because if you see it's like z as z shape so if i find this one i can find this one so let's say this is the height and it's given one meter from here it's one meter and we know the distance is two meter here so i can now use tan theta so it's going to be tan inverse opposite over adjacent opposite is going to be 1 over 2 
it's going to be equal to uh, so this is theta this is going to be equal to if I solve 10 it's going to be 26.6 degree 6 degree and this is going to be cos theta times the 2 2 cos theta so this is going to be my moment around D and it's going to be equal to 0 if I solve for GF I will end up with 29.3 kilonewton and this is my answer for GF now we have this one this one and now I can take the all the y values here and see what we can find so let's solve y uh, values in statics total y0 and let's take upside positive so if I take upside positive e y is going to be positive minus 15 and then we have here gd and we have to find a phi so phi we have we can find the same thing like tan inverse this uh, height is 3 and distance is 2 so tan inverse 3 by 2 is going to be equal to phi so which is going to be equal to um, 56.3 degree so 56.3 I can say therefore I can say uh, this is EY and what is this okay, 15 or oh, 15 currently acting downside and this is also acting downside so it's negative negative GF GF sine sine theta and this is uh, our acting upside so it's going to be GD plus GD sine phi GD sine phi so this is going to be my horizontal components these are the only horizontal components we have it's going to be equal to zero and we know EY we can plug it in here gf we can plug it in here and gd that's what we can find from this so it's going to be gd is equal to 2 point this comes out to be 2.25 kilonewton and then finally we can take the x components fx is equal to 0 and if we take this one positive uh, and that's it uh, so if we take this one positive CD is going to be negative CD and GD is going to be minus GD cos phi and GF is going to be plus GF cos theta so these are the only horizontal component if we have so it's going to be equal to 0 so if I equal it to 0 and find CD CD is going to be equal to 25 kilonewton. Since uh, all of them are positive, all of the assumptions are right, all of the direction are right, so they are not, there's nothing to change. But if you if you take the opposite direction, you will get negative. Like for example, if you take GD this direction, you will get negative 2.25, which means you took the wrong direction and you uh, find it right, and then you take change it into positive and to change the direction that's all you have to do so from this one we can we can find it out whether it is tension or compression first of all if we take gf so gf if you see if you see arrows at the end of the line if it's like this it means it's a compression if you see arrows like this it's a tension right so if you see this one it's arrow is facing outside so it's this is a this is a compression and GD for GD if you see it's facing inside and therefore it's a it's, a, it's one of this kind just therefore it's a tension and CD is also same thing the same like this so therefore this is a tension too and that's all we have to find we have to find GF GD 
see these are so we have to find and state whether it's tension or compression so we are almost done i hope you guys like this video see you next time